Greetings everyone and welcome back to Dungeons 3, an unexpected DLC. In the last episode we began down the forest path with our quest to slay the forest queen. And in this episode we are probably going to not do that if these DLCs have taught me anything. This is going to be multiple missions, but uh, we're going to make some progress towards that end goal at the very least. It is payday. And despite the fact that our gold um, vein in here is dried up, it is useful to have a um, a treasury inside your dungeon. Otherwise, your minions have to go a bloody long way to collect their pay, and that tends to mean that they're out of position when they really are needed close to the dungeon hut. You can just throw them around, I suppose, but generally I prefer not to. Now, I'm creating a little trap area over here, not much of one, and they have to walk out of their way in order to get here Enemies have entered because the I've got a small... Uh, gold room over here. Th this way, the, the imps will fill this up pretty quickly and then we'll start hauling it all the way over there. Or I can help out by picking it up myself or later on upgrade the amount that can be stored on a tile, etc, etc. But that makes it so much faster. You'll also notice that I'm dropping down doors here and there. Now, there is a reason for dropping doors that you'll you'll want to, uh, to use is because it increases the efficiency of the rooms that they're attached to. A room that has just walls and doors without any um, uh, open spaces leading outside has a much, much higher efficiency and so will produce everything and do everything that it does that little tiny bit better. Right, there we go. Let's expand this out to the skeletons, you know, just patrolling, doing skeleton -y stuff. Now I'm going to allow these heroes to wander past because we've got some of the traps set up. Oh, it's happy days. Uh, but it is still going to take a little while, unfortunately. We need uh, more orcs no more goblins frankly so we might want to go ahead and improve that right now uh can i afford another goblin i can marvelous let's get you in there doing work perfect there we go traps are on their way now will they get there in time will one of them be the thrasher because if it is then we're going to have a very very easy time of dealing with this group of heroes uh we'll have to see though because the the Imps are very slow when they're carrying big boxes. Ah, frankly, it's it's a design flaw. My, I I think so. I'm just going to give there you a bit of a slap. In your encourage you to work a little bit harder. Now I'm very pleased to see that they are portaling in. But, well, I mean I'm not pleased that they're portaling in, but I'm pleased that they're having to portal in. Now once this activates, it will hit everyone who walks past for a little while. So having a couple in succession, even if people slow down, it will still hit them. There we go. Marvellous. Keep on walking through. And by the time that the novice arrives, let's go. Spin her up and pop. I only got two of them, but that is fine. Because we have badly wounded the rest. Alright, let's grab everyone. And uh, sure. Let's deploy you all. Talia, you can go to the back. Right? Go to the apprentice, please. There we go. Possibly wasn't the best use of the thrasher there, but uh, it's I would, however, like to expand this area out so I can use it as a little thrasher area soon. But this is turning into a big fight. That's a master gunner there, which is a bit of a problem because they do summon not only more dangerous cannons, but much more healthy cannons. They're more dangerous in and of themselves, but uh, it's the fact that their weaponry is that much more damaging, which is the real problem. Uh, you're going to take that tank out in a moment, so yeah, sure, and then you can work on the master gunner. I'm going to have to rely on my traps to do a little bit more work with this next wave. Uh, we definitely want that novice taken out. We've got another master gunner. Painful. Uh, certainly, certainly painful. Uh, but that's fine. We should be okay. Let's grab a little bit of everything. Drop it over, over here. So, there are reasons, Enemies obviously, why uh, if all of these traps are over there, it would be much easier uh, to uh, build them up. But still, I think this is fine. Please be that trap. Be this trap. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Perfect. You're going to be dead before you get through. Yeah, excellent. Now, see, if I wait, we do want to grab the novice. So spin her up and pop. There we go. Good bit of damage there. Only realistically, the master gunner is alive. Uh, let's deploy everyone down here. Try and take them out as fast as you can before the master gunner. Oh, that's brilliant. Deployed your cannon in the wrong place. Ah, you silly, silly gunners. Uh, Talia... I would drop you behind, but honestly, the mage would, uh, sorry, the cannon would then wreck you, so I guess we're just going to have a big old uh, slugfest in the middle there. 
Now, another thing I could do is I could pop a uh, another trap over there, but honestly, I think it would be best for us if we just allow our traps to uh, improve. Do you really need to go past it? Not really. I'm not sure if the... Yeah, the cannon is still a problem. Ugh, that zombie just took a full cannon blast in the face. I feel a little bit bad. I could have just hop skipped and jumped them over to the other side. But again, I'm evil. It's okay. I mean, not for my minions, but it's okay for me to be inefficient and just allow, allow my minions to suffer. There are enemies in your dungeon. Hey, there are enemies in the dungeon. It is also daytime, but we have so many more traps. But as you can see, the enemies are starting to get a lot, a lot stronger, which is kind of bad for us. And by kind of, I mean really. But we have also got more than one thrasher now. Just taken out an apprentice entirely. Unfortunately, enemies have entered this priestess the is going to heal up quite a lot of it, but she's not going to make it the other way. Uh, go ahead. Womp. Yeah, we've taken out a fair few of the enemies. Now, the good thing is that they're stunned currently, or they won't be stunned for longer. But that's fine, that's fine. We have also got the gobble bots. You may notice our goblins are in mechs. Ooh, that's the best place for goblins, frankly. Uh, right, let's pop you over here. Not, not kind of explodey mechs, though, or, or, or dumb, slow, ponderous mechs. No, 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 no. Fast, technologically superior mechs. Not like Labyrinth. Though, honestly, if I could build the mech from Labyrinth, the, the, a door closes and suddenly it's a mech, eh, I probably would, even if it is ponderous. I'm not going to lie. Uh, right, let's get another Tinker Machine. So we can make even more, So sorry, store even more boxes and make our things twice as fast. You are incredibly hard to kill. But it is a throne guard, so that doesn't surprise me too much. Either. We need more. Uh, honestly, I'd like more Nagas. Just lots of Nagas to help out. Right, the next group of heroes will be here soon. This is a much squishier group, though. Uh, the Bombardiers are a little bit dangerous. Uh, their cannons are much more explodey. Uh, I'm not a big fan. But we've got an awful lot of evilness. Let's go ahead and do something with it, shall we? We need the Lecture Hall. Like, we really, really need the Lecture Hall. Uh, uh, unlocking the arena will allow us to train up our horde creatures, that includes our Nagas, I believe, and eventually get the Ogre. Mm, I do like the Ogre, I'll be honest. I also like vampires, but I think we're probably going to just go down the horde line. Right, let's have a watch of this. Now, thankfully, the Priestess is the first one getting minced by the arrows, though not as much damage as I'd like, frankly. Uh-oh, the others have caught up, so the Priestess is slowing down. Uh, let's give you all a good wallop. There we go. I like it. Now, if we're lucky, because you're quite far behind, the Priestess is going to stop to heal a bunch of you. The Thrasher will be up and running before she gets out the way. Oh, no, he is out the way. That's kind of disappointing. But Oh, well. You notice that they do have durability, and once that durability is all gone, then, alas, that trap no longer works. Pretty much as you would expect, really. Um, no. For evil! Okay, who do we want to hit first? Uh, I guess we'll go for the Ranger. Oh, my God! Talia, bye! Why must you destroy my ears so? Uh, if only there was a way to just turn off that one soundbite. You gods. We've got a minute though before daytime and uh, then we, uh, sorry, nighttime, and then we can head out. Now, this does seem like a reasonable room to set up for There are our... enemies in your dungeon. Uh, I guess there's no two that will be bad. Uh, I would like the priestess taken out first though. There we are, Thrasher. Get ready, and start thrashing. Womp! There we go. Managed to get a good bulk of everyone there, and then the uh, shades are getting in on the action. I like it. You're really not going to do anything. Go, go. And let's get everyone and deploy them in here. You should be able to take out the Priestess. Oh no, I turned off the target. There we go. As long as we can take out the Priestess, that's the main thing. Would the Thrasher hurt my own... You know what, for science? Tell me! No, it just hurts them. Didn't know that. I'll have to build with that in mind in the future. But for now, I think you're going to be able to just pull up the living daylight out of them. It'll be fine. And then, by the time you've done that, we could go out and maybe it's smash payday. a couple of the... Um, the spawns. The outposts. Uh, I would like to. That being said, though, I would also 
quite like to build the lecture hall now. I believe we need th uh, three by three tiles. It's an automatic building, so as long as you've got three by threes, they'll build the, the required constructions in them. So we're going to build a nice big old area there. Nine by three should be more than good enough for us. Uh, we'll also fill in these little, little bits here and there. There we go. And all this of this belt, because I'm super finicky about such things. And that as well. Uh, right, now, as you can see, this arrow trap has lost all durability, so it has fully shut down, which is kind of super bad, as it happens. Thankfully, uh, our returning army is just, just a, at the, the payment room, so that's pretty cool. Now, once we've got the lecture hall built, I'm going to spend a bit of time upgrading what we can. One of the first things I would like to upgrade is the our capacity evil for... Had dug into a dragon's nest. You're kidding me. It's just poop. Take out the dragon's nest first, please, and then go deal with the other dragon lizards. But get rid of this nest, because it's just going to keep swimming. There we go. Quickly now, because they are going to under attack. Uh, oh wow, they are doing way too much damage. We cannot afford to wait. Supply all of the death as quickly as you can, please. Uh, oh, actually, the shades are going to keep trying to do a little bit of damage. Oh, that's nice. Uh, but wow, dragons, seriously. My units are not going to be able to handle this. If we die to dragons, I will be most frustrated. Flustered, one could say. Uh, I think we will win this one, but it's only by the skin of our teeth. And our teeth don't have skin. That's how close it's going to be. Okay, Dragon's Lair dealt with. And a library room set up. Oh, it's going to be good. Electric hall, I should say. Uh, right, let's also fill out this as well. There we go. I don't actually think we need to build an arena just yet. Simply because all of our horde creatures... Oh, well, actually, one of our Nagas could do with a little bit of training. But uh, other than that, everyone's at level 5. I mean, the arena is useful because um, under the threat of violence, your monsters miraculously train 100% faster and more. Free oh, that, sorry, that's the uh, that's the lecture hall, uh, where your creatures can train and gain experience points. However, the training is costly for all creatures except the horde. The horde basically train for free. Ah, but there we are, 1,000 away, and we'll get an ogre. It'll be amazing. Now the iron height. Uh, armor is welded shut once it is donned. Increasing the armor value by 20, it also makes for some interesting problems in the latrine. Uh, yeah. uh, but I would like uh, more zombies, please. That's be pretty much the f these are the first two ones that I'll usually use the uh, lecture hall on, allowing us to have multiple stacks of them. But that does put, uh, create an interesting new problem in that we don't have room for new stacks. So we're going to have to do this. Now we'll pop this down there, simply to increase efficiency. There we go. Once we've got that, we'll have room for another stack of zombies and one more stack of skeletons as well, which will be fantastic for us. As you can see, they're there doing a little bit of uh, research. Now there is limited space in here, so one of the things you're going to want to research is the ability to stack more um, scrolls in your area, unless you've got enough room to not worry about that, which is you know nice place to be, not where we are though. Uh, there we are. More skeletons please. Bonk. There we go. Marvellous. Right, okay. Uh, we're going to need to increase the size of our graveyard. Now, the zombies live here and that's where they're spawned. But the skeletons are spawned in the prison, but they still live here. So, you do need to make room enough for the skeletons as well. Having a gigantic prison isn't by itself going to help. How much? Ooh, only 4,000? That's not a lot. May need to set this room up a little bit earlier than I was expecting. That's a pain. Now, somewhere there is almost certainly going to be uh, a little area for us to get um, more or less infinite gold. There is almost always one, but where it'll be, I don't know. I want to make this a little bit of a, a pot to get to, though, for my adventurers. So we'll probably have a door, I don't know, probably over there. Uh, me even have a... Can I possibly get this up? Oh, I can, right up there. Fantastic, that'll work well. 
or create a little room there so I can pop an extra trap in there. There we are. That'll that'll do nicely, and then we'll fill out this with uh, with the treasure rooms as well. Now I do need some more little snots because they're not being particularly quick on the job, I must say. Zombies! Heroes want to attack one of your islands of evilness. Oh no! I knew it was only a matter of time. Uh, they'll probably take it, but I'll take it back at night time. Because I don't really want to take my army out. Well, that being said, we might be able to cut them off at the pass. But well, knowing knowing what will happen is uh, we would end up showing up just as a bunch of vines popped out of the ground. That would kind of suck. But thankfully, we've almost got our entire trap corridor set up. In fact, that trap just went off, so it's going to get to go up twice, which is particularly useful. There we go. Some more traps happening. Novices and priestesses stopping in the corridors, which is exactly the best thing for them to do. I mean, for me, at least. And let's wait until the novice is there. There we go. That should get both of them. Perfect. And you again, please. Come on. Oh, my lord. That damage ramp. Uh, go, go. No, that's not going to work now. It's broken. Much sad. Okay, this one, however, is ready to... Oh, she's down. Great. Can we get you, uh, well, kind of, but not really exactly the way I wanted it to happen, but I guess it'll do. Um, sure, then. We're going to want to grab everyone and bring them all together. Now, what's happening is some of them are stopping um, to regroup, basically. An island of evilness is being attacked. Really? Oh, that's just awkward. Uh, you have, have lost one of your islands of evilness to the enemy. How many... Wow, they must have had a particularly large attack force, then. There okay. are enemies in your dungeon. Go ahead. <laughs> and then Kali down here. Where are you taking me? Uh, just across the wall. Yep. Do your best, please. Okay, well, on the whole, we're not doing too badly, but uh, it could still be improved a little bit, I think. Oh, my lord, really? Two-pronged attack. Enemies and one of my thrashes is down. I bet you're the scallywags who took down my island of evil as well. I will not forgive you for this. Uh, we haven't really finished with them yet. Oh, this is going to be a little bit painful, I fancy. Uh, thankfully, the princess has just stopped by herself, which is actually amazing. Right, go. Knock them all out, please. One at a time. Yes, brilliant. And then hopefully up and running again by the time that the priestess nears. Uh, mostly okay. You can go over there. And go. No, 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 no. She's about to get away. Oh, thank goodness. I imagine... Uh, no, it's not really going to work. Uh, that might trigger. Did it? Did it? No. Scally. Didn't go down. Much sad. You go over on that side. Talia. Uh, actually, Talia might be able to take you out. Can you do it? Come on, Talia. Do it. Oh, no. Oh, poop. We just lost a level 5 iron hide. Well, that does kind of suck. Hey, I didn't realize that you were there. Uh, we'll definitely turn this on, though. Um, actually, we should probably evil. deploy the entire army down here. Still, losing that iron hide was a massive pain in the bottom. Uh, maybe it's time for a crypt then, since that would allow us to resurrect the horde. Uh, we will soon have more skeletons and indeed more zombies, though, which is supposed to be great. Oh, dear me. That might not have been the best place to put you all. Frankly. Uh, no, absolutely wasn't the best place to put you. Yeah, that was actually really bad. I forgot there was another way. My bad. My bad, everyone. So sorry. Uh, on the plus side, though. Oh, man. Oh, my traps are down. But we do have a bit of an opportunity here. Since uh, quite a lot of the army is turning, let's grab Take you. Me to the enemy. Deploy you there. Is this up and running again? No. Well, it's going to be a bit painful. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be the best engagement for you. But, uh, yeah, but good luck, I guess. Hopefully. Level six skeleton archers, though. Nice. You desire? Right. While my army is uh, mostly marching back. We're going to get out of here and we're going to try and take this on. We've got fairly high level units here, so it shouldn't be too bad. And usually when they take an Island of Evil, they just replace the original units that were there. Um, they don't tend to leave really strong units there, thankfully, because that would be a nightmare. 
but uh, we do need to still play it fairly tactical. There we go. And yeah, these fighters are not going to stand against this particular force for very long. Now okay, let's let the, the rest of them ro roam around though and see if we can't push a little bit further in. Now, if we're lucky, we're not going to have a bunch of vines jump up in the way and cause all manner of sprang from the ground in a flash and reached for the creatures. I disapprove, though. I wish they would stop. Maybe we should actually push on towards one of the um, the portals. I, I think taking out one of the towns is probably going to be in our best interest at this point. Dangerous vines Please stop. From the ground in a flash I just and reached hang for the back. Creatures. You guys just chill out. Right there. It's fine. Ooh. Can we actually take one out? Maybe we can. I wonder if we do that, it never comes back. Because I would... Oh, I should have thought about this before. Thank you very much, Imp. The Imps have, as it happens, one of the uh, greatest ranges of any unit in the game. Which is always useful. Uh, I could expand that out, maybe. Oh, my lord. So much we need to do. Uh, hopefully, let's get you down here so that you can grab your pay. And then I'll take you back up top so you can make me more stuff. Come on. Grab it. No. Hungry. Food. Money. There we go. Money is being delivered. Uh, drink. And then sleep. Okay. Drink time. You go grab that. Right. Well done, everyone. Uh, let's move on. I mean, that is there now, which is actually pretty good. But I... Uh, that, that went away straight away. Oh, dear. Do your best. Ouch. That does hurt a bit. Take that, yeah, well done. Uh, go for the apprentice next. The mage, please. Um, it would be good to take them out. The banshees will do that with the AOE. There we go. Well done. Very well done. Though we are hurting a bit. We have cleared away. Ooh, fantastic! Crap. Ah, oh, brilliant timing. It's a shame it didn't affect my. Uh, a banshee is okay, frankly. It's a bit of a pain. Now then, are you working? I think my gobbo is probably snoozing. No, it might be down there eating, actually. Yeah. Snoxel, you kind of want to eat and kind of want to sleep. Well, I mean, pick. Can't do both at the same time. Right. Now, everyone together. There we go. Marvelous! Dangerous oh, really? Come on! Sprang from the ground in a flash and reached Need more for the creatures. You? No, no. What can I, I mean, do for you? I guess you could really must, but rather you didn't. There we go. I mean, if I can dig through these vines, I will. But that outpost is just over there, and I've got a funny feeling it's going to be pretty uh, tricky prospect to take that down. That said, I can cast a spell. To get us back to base if I need to. Right. Everyone move what? up. There we go. Okay, well, it's good to know that we can just win this fight by Ouch. taking them out. Uh, that does work fairly well, actually. Mm, I just like that, though. I like that a lot. Of that. that looks like it's going to be a bit of a nasty battle. Ooh. Okay, go for the novice first. Got 40 seconds. You know what? I'm going to give you all some damage buffs. There we go. Uh, novice is down with the priestess. There we are. A cannon tower. I feel you've already stacked the odds. Enough in your favor, game. My lord. Right, that's down. Go for the guard. Good. That guard next. Well done. And you. Okay, that's going to be a difficult fight. I'm going to Ooh, there's a thief there, actually. Go for the thief instead. Please and thank you. Right, we've lost some of our undead, which does pain me. Still, veteran or rogue? I would like the rogue on the front chain. Okay, but take him out, come on. There we go. Right, oh dear. Um, honestly, you can kind of do the damage as you please at this point, but just do it quickly. There we are, and uh, the other cannon tower is probably better. Hold on, but I want to see what happens when we take out this outpost. What I'm worried about is seeing a bunch of uh, heroes entering. You have a new Ooh. outpost available. What? What? I replaced it with a with a 
resplendent Dangerous likeness of myself. I approve. In a flash and reached for the Go creatures. away. You utter scallywags, you. New outpost is available. Does that mean we can go down here now? Because I would hey, like to. There's another dungeon entrance. Oh, wonderful. I'm sure we'll find one of those oh rune stones mm. there. I can feel it. Maybe it's because I mentioned that earlier. Oh, come on. I'd have actually had to listen to you for that. I mean, seriously, the way you wow. go on all the time, people just start to chew. Hashtag out. murdered by words. <laughs> Next time I'm not throwing bears at you, it'll be fully grown dragons. Ha! Uh, reference to other um, DLCs. I like it. All right, get in there. Uh, what do we got? Evil mushrooms. Sure. I see nothing possible that could possibly go wrong with fighting evil mushrooms. Rootlings have spread throughout the underground. Seriously? Oh, oh no, really? You broke. Ah, oh, come on now. Don't break my dungeon. That's just rude. There we go. Just one. No, nope, no, nope, just one. Thank you. Now, how far is this group out? Uh, not that far, but have we managed to replace the traps? Oh, we have! Uh, this is why you leave some... Well, well, actually, some of the traps. This is why you leave some of your units back at base. Ah, we've got a diamond vein. We've needed this so much. But the problem is... You see... Hmm, Enemies have entered the they're dungeon. They're going to be able to enter from over here, I bet. That's going to be awkward for me. Very awkward for me, actually, because they're just going to bypass all my traps. I disapprove. So there's not a lot I can do about it, really. Hmm. We'll have to see. Um, let's expand that out. I wonder if we can completely seal that. We can. Well, no, no. We might not be able to. to it'll wait until there's only one tile left, and then it'll say, no, this would this would break everything. I missed my chance. Well. Um, okay. A few super needy kill everything there, so let me give you another boost. Go ahead. Do it really efficiently. There we go. Now, while all that's going on, let's continue uh, building out this area. If I can link that all the way back down here, that would be glorious. So let's see where this goes. Does it in any way connect new? That is a shame. Because that is going to make this a pretty big vulnerable spot. Not a lot we can do about it now. Uh, the heroes will be here shortly. Uh, does only have one pre priestess though, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, does this give me anything in particular? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Enemies have entered the dungeon. We need to find a rune stone, which has not appeared yet. Hmm. Oh wait, no, it's down there. Very well. I need to dig down there then. Yeah, it's probably right there. Okay. Everyone back home. Go. It uh, might trigger on the priestess in time. <gasps> the little snots have dug up one of the rune stones. <laughs> uh, Talia, See, I need you to draw them in. to employ unpaid laborers forced to work Go. under threat of violence. Oh. Uh, wow, that was a bit close to the bone. Not sure I can approve of that. I mean, there's evil, and then he's just being a jerk. But you're doing a pretty good job here. The shades are drawing their attention, while uh, the traps are continually triggering on the mage. Oh, that was fantastic. I approve. Uh, though now you're going to get ruined, and you cost a lot to replace. So, mm, we'll uh, pop you back there. And then I'll grab everyone, then pick you up again, so that you don't get immediately wrecked. There we go. You'll get hurt a little bit, but... There we go. Uh, shades are up. Yep, we managed that one. Uh, kind of. Still would have been a little bit better if we'd uh, been a bit faster with that, but we'll see. Uh, okay, portal stone splinter. A lone splinter of the portal stone. Very well. Womp. Two rune stones still had to be placed in order to open the portal. Very well. That shouldn't be any problem for us. No, oh, I don't know about that. Right. Comb the underground. Oh, not with an actual comb, you idiots. 
The well aimed fair. had tossed the first rune stone into its socket. Amazingly well done. Not right. everyone could have done that. At least, not everyone under the age of 12 months. Seriously. <sighs> right. Well, you're going to immediately undo all my good work. So let's uh, get the entire army down here so it draws them into the fight in a place where it's generally quite dangerous for them to be. Go. I approve. Marvellous. And then the entire army just spills out and rolls over the heroes for like a violent wave. Perfect. So much money. I approve. Hmm. We could go for the ogre. I think we should. Yes. Research the ogre. Uh, also, do we have enough evil to research it? Well, I would like to get steel ironhide soon, but uh, we could get explosion treasure chest, the magnetic trap, poison breath. Oh my lord, there's, there's new traps. This is amazing. And locks poison breath trap, which makes enemies hit the less often, and it's also highly flammable. Aha. Uh -huh. Rotating flamer. That is an automatic. Um, heater, which I particularly like. Tinged spider nest. Oh my lord. This, oh, this is great. I don't know which, which uh, DLC added this, but uh, this is fantastic. Uh, tamed spider nest trap, which spits out nasty little spiders whenever approached by the enemy. Hmm. If I pop those in conjunction with the thrashes, or if I had a rotating flamer and a tamed spider... Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot, I do. Uh, right, do those... Yeah, they're going to require magic. Uh, magical um, toolboxes, though. It is a bit of a punch, but uh, it's worth it, ultimately. Uh, right, we're going to want to upgrade the Tinker's Cave. So where be you, Tinker's Cave? There we are. No, that's not the thing we need, then. Hmm. Oh, no, wait, we've got to wait for them to be done first. Ah, it's because I'm just a massive dip. New traps. Marvellous. Right, we want a couple of these new traps in place of the old ones, basically. Uh, right, you're okay. You, however, can go. Let's get rid of you. There we are. It's worth quite a lot of money, actually. Uh, we want a rotating... Flame. Now, this is an automatic trap, so it does a wee bit less damage. But that's fine. Uh, now, the tame spider's trap. Hopefully, no one here suffers from arachnophobia. Well, actually, yeah. Uh, right, this does require quite a bit of room. Let's have a look again. Um, right, so it has to have walls on each side. So, actually, right here would be fine, I think. Let's rotate it around. Right in the wall there would be fine. Gonna have to dig it out though. Let's dig that there. Uh, dig this there. That will work very, very nicely indeed. We could have an automatic flamer around here. I mean, it would still technically hit anything that's going through, so sure, let's do that. That can go for now. We are also going to want heaters. Uh, so, one there. One here. Uh, I could have that one rotated around to face that way. Uh, another heater right there. Right up, down there. Ah, oh, it's going to be grand. Truly grand. Uh, right, okay, so our... Ooh. I don't have enough beer. I'm going to need to get on that one. Right, can we pop that in? Ah, oh, that's fantastic. This is amazing. I wonder what their magical versions are. Well, we're going to have to find out. That's the only way. We'll pop down a regular spike trap there. Uh, we can't afford you. You're way too expensive, alas. Uh, we can possibly have this pointing... Well, no, I think we'll just wait for the spider trap. There we go. Pop the spider trap in place. Get the rotating flamer soon, which is going to require five boxes. My lord, extortioner. Ah, but oh well. I suppose it's fine. Right, whilst all of that's going on, though, can we upgrade anything else? Steel iron hides. I think that would be worth it, yes. Now, what I would love to do is 
to get an ogre. It's going to require a thousand, though. It does require an awful lot of room as well. So we might have to build another horde location. Uh, this might even be it. There we go. Actually, let's uh, dig that out on that side instead. There we are. The ogre is going to be a pretty big deal for our army. It's one of the first titan units that we can get. Or at least it is if you've gone horde, which I have. But uh, there are there's the uh, grave golem, I believe. Uh, there we are, and the pit fiend. Honestly, they all have their pros and cons. Again, I do kind of like going with the horde, but uh, the pit fiend is probably one of the better ones, I would say, out of all three. This just is much more convenient to have than just a single. Uh, army to have because you can upgrade it a little it's bit easier. Payday. Uh, do I really have to pay them? Enemies have entered the dungeon. Oh, thank goodness you placed it down there. We've got a spider trap. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so let's have a quick look at how this works. Flamer doing some pretty solid damage. One down already. Spiders, do your thing. Become spidery. There we go. Marvelous. Spiders are already down, though, but... Oh, actually, no, no. The spiders are doing a fair amount of damage there. I approve. Can I get another go for the Thrasher? Yes, I can. And the Priestess is down. Flamer doing some good work there. Uh, unfortunately, weren't able to quite take them out as fast as I would like, but uh, most of them did go down. Now, the only thing with the Rotating Flamer, obviously, it's automatic. I can't force it to trigger any faster than it already does. Uh, though, they did... Re re Treat to uh, regroup. Sorry, that is fantastic. Time Talia, could you deal with that? Ranger, me? Perfect, absolutely perfect. How many uses? Is this? Uh, the spider's nest doesn't have that many uses, honestly. But, uh, still, not bad at all, I must say. Right, if you would like to grab any, oh, would you please stop taking them back? I don't actually need them. <sighs> well, I guess I did build that room, so they're only doing what I told them. But damn it, do what I want you to do, not what I tell you to do. Ah, uh, the beautiful thing about flame traps is they tend to uh, cause damage over time, which I'm a big fan of, for obvious reasons, really. All right, let's pop you down there. Glorious. Now, it does seem that the spider traps don't uh, engage if they don't cluster around them, so I probably want a spider trap over here as well, just to give them reason to pause and maybe fan out around the... Uh, Rotating Flamer, and then the spiders can really get involved. Now, I think we need a Poison Breath Trap so that the Flamers can do even more damage. I think that would be glorious. Uh, we're going to want the Priest... Oh, well, actually, no, the Novice is the first one we should really go for. Uh, now, unfortunately, our traps are running low. Still, I'm pretty happy with the we are with the traps as they stand. They're doing a really, really good job. There we go. Pump. Perfect. All right, let's have a watch. The novice is actually managed to get through. Surprisingly. Um, unfortunately, uh, probably a little premature there with the thrasher. And this is going to give the novice and the priestess time to heal everyone up, which I'm not a great fan of. Right, let's go. Hey, there we go. Perfect. That'll take you out. Now, unfortunately, I'll probably miss the priestess here. That is a bit of a shame, but not a whole lot I can do about it. Actually, if they they wait up there, there we go, perfect. And the priestess is down. Right, Talia can take care Just of you. To the heroes. There we go. Well, this little trap corridor is now really doing some proper work. I am a fan. Uh, so that's largely automated for the time being then. Now, we just need to make a thousand gold so that I can summon an ogre. That's the next big thing I want to do. I wouldn't mind taking out a group to just go and raid some stuff, but that does take a bit of work. Uh, Talia is fairly powerful just by herself, so that would be all right, I guess. But no, I'm going to let people uh, get their pay for now. Though That being said, it can actually sometimes be advantageous to take a group out to get them their pay faster than normal. Because once they're on the overworld, all of their needs are automatically met if you have the means to do so. So if you've got enough uh, turkeys, they'll automatically get fed. And if you've got enough gold, they'll automatically get paid. So it can speed things up 
in an odd sort of way. Uh, okay, let's grab my minions then. Uh, let's grab all of you. Uh, two highest Nagas, you as well. And let's go. We'll go and do a bit of damage. Hey, and Talia. Keep your hands to your there we go. Perfect. Uh, as you can see, some cash is being expended straight away. What do you want me to do? Uh, kill people mostly. We may need to wait for that. Alright. I wouldn't mind taking that island beaver, but honestly, at this point, we're generating enough evil that we should Bines be okay. Crept out of the ground to attack the try, try not to be attacked by it if you can. Um... Well, uh, like, I mean, I guess if you have to, go ahead, but I do Well, back here, I'm thinking that I would like, I know I'm not dangerous, uh, an ogre. There we go. Yes. Thank you. You're coming with us. Go. There we are. Ah, oh, fantastic. Right, go and group up the rest of them. Over here, please. Good will fall. There we go. Now, this is going to make things a little bit more uh, interesting. Now, the problem with the ogre is... Right now, we haven't upgraded it, and it's only level 3. Hmm. Still, I think we're probably going to be able to manage. But uh, the ogre is going to make large group combat much, much easier. Mostly because of Armageddon. Let's the ogre really pound the table or the underground once, which stuns all nearby enemies for three seconds and does 120 area damage. It is pretty I want Thanos's head. Well, I mean, you've already had it. Unless you mean, like, you left it on a pike and you kind of miss it. Uh, in which case, I, I suppose I could see that, why that might be. Uh, though really, it's your own fault for leaving your adoptive father's head on the pike Mine's back where you defeated him. To attack the creatures. Go. Wow, that thing is just annihilating my group. Oh, it's gonna the zombies just took so much damage from that though. Uh could I get Oh no. Hmm, that's not so great. How about you head on down? And our ogre head on down. And you again, because you are very tanky. No no, you guys you pull desire? back. The squishy ones, don't be at the front, please. Oh, no, the zo zombies, why? Oh, well, too late now. Everything good must there die. I, I would generally prefer the zombies didn't die, I'll be honest. But I uh, guess I don't have much of a say. That's fine, though. If we can find a... Ah, oh, there we are. Can we possibly be lucky enough to get a healing pot? Because if we can... Oh, glorious times. Really? You don't want any of this. Honestly, you don't. See, come on, healing pot. Yes, get healing pot. Get fantastic. Right, go for the novice, please. Really, unicorn fountain. Unicorn kebabs incoming. Bye bye, baby. While well, that's going on, let's go and check back down here. You know, the skeleton's just chilling out, staring into an empty prison, uh, remembering the good days. Uh, anything else we need to do there? No. Your creatures have conquered a new island of evilness. Fantastic. Uh, could you not trail back so much? Some of the, them are just the corpses of the Give your zombies orders. that we haven't managed to slay. Uh, so, uh, sorry, uh, rather, that uh, haven't gone back. Because they tend to go back uh, as a what? group. Right. Come on then. Let's get in there. Take out the priestess if you can, please. Ow. Go forth, ogre. Yeah, well done. And the priestess can't even actually heal through this much damage, which is glorious. And once we've gone rid of this, then we're not going to have to worry pretty much about any kind of attack. I know it, it's a bit of a shame because it, we haven't, uh, as a result, uh, seen some of the magical traps, but... There we go. And pop. Go ahead. And then finish this off. I imagine that will break that gate. Once we've uh, defeated the town, this will break down for us. And the dismantling of yes. the hero's camp no. had a negative effect on the environment. Marvelous. The forest drew back, giving way to a new path, a sort of shortcut. I mean, <laughs> uh, thank you, narrator. 
Okay, well, I don't know how many more attack powers they could have, but we can always portal back to town should we need to. I think we're just going to press on. Okay, sprang from the ground in a flash and reached for the creatures. It's fine. We'll just hold hold here for now. Uh, where are my enemies have entered the dungeon? Ah, we are going to still get a couple more. Uh, that's a bit of a pain, but it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, would you care to come with me? I hope you don't mind. All right, grab these two. Uh, I'm going to drop them down here for just a second. Go over to Talia. We'd like Talia. Let's get you a portal. Right about uh, here will do. Then grab you two and drop you into the portal. There we are. This way you can take out these at extreme range. Try not to push everyone else into them, though, because they will die. Uh, you know that whole thing that I said about rain? I want Thanos's head. I kind of feel that you should be, uh, yeah, doing that. Actually, that's the entire reason why I hired you, my lord. Uh, right, has, has the ogre actually got a bed? The ogre does not have a bed. We should probably make him one. Let's go ahead and build a new horde down here. There we are. The ogre will take up a fair chunk of room in that. Right, uh, I believe, yeah, I took all of my orcs and goblins with me. That was a silly. That was a very silly. Let's get a few more then, so... Two goblins. I would like another tank. There we go. You can all just hang back, it's fine. Uh, but that does need to be fixed. There we go. Now, is everything going alright over here? Uh, yes, it does appear to be. There are enemies Good. in your dungeon. Now, again, I can just use a portal to get down there if I need to, but we are not going to do much damage to these guys before they through most of the traps. Let's have a watch. Oh, the priestess is going down. Yeah, the priestess is gone. Ah, oh, flamer traps. So good. So incredibly good. Spiders. Thank you. Can't activate the thrasher, I'm afraid. I'd love to, but it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, my my heaters are expended, so we're not going to be able to stop the next in quite as uh, glorious a fashion, I'm afraid. There we are. And are you even going to survive? You might do. No, you did not. Wow. Despite not being a full um, group there, uh, a full trap setup, that worked Scurrilous fantastically brood. well. Your presence Ooh. is not desired in my realm. Feel the revenge of the forest. Apparently, the not. forest queen was not entranced by the absolutist evil's visit. A number really? of living trees walked from the forest to deal with the unwanted guests. <laughs> Wonderful. What? Now the firewood even delivers itself. Come well, on, I mean... guys. Swing those axes. Give them some acid. Uh... Acid rain. <laughs> uh, I think fire would probably be the better option. Myself, but all right. Let's go for upgrading Talia's abilities a little bit more. This is going to be Enemies a nasty fight, though. The dungeon. There's no way around this. We do not have even half the traps anymore. So I think at this point we are going to just pop down another portal. Let's get everyone back. Going through. Now that portal should stay there if we're lucky. While all of that's going on. Let's grab the whole group and drop them there. They should be able to Just annihilate wait. the healer. And in that time, we might even get some more spiders. In fact, I mean, these traps are doing remarkably well, as is. I'm quite impressed, I've got to be honest. I wasn't expecting them to be nearly as effective as they are. Glorious. Head on back, grab some stuff, have a break, maybe some noms. And then we'll deal with the next group when they arrive. And then when we're ready, we can go back through that portal to appear over there. Ah, efficiency! Okay, time for us to get back out there. Night is almost over, unfortunately. But we should be able to do plenty of damage, even still. Uh, let's grab most of our powerful units. Uh, you two as well. And two of these. There we go. And everyone in you go. Vines crept uh, oh, out of the really? ground to attack really? the creatures. That's just rude. So rude. Talia could go there as well, please. Now, there we Take go. Day. That one has been dealt with. Uh, 
probably pull, pull away from those evil vines, please and thank you. All right, we need to go for the healing end more than any. Uh, yes, definitely the healing end is our primary target here. Oh, that's going to hurt. So much damage on my lord. Wow, you are actually destroying them. That's what, ridiculously fun. I'm a little bit shocked. A little bit. Now, the Pit Fiend would have been amazing here, but, uh, I assume, because the Pit Fiend is, has a fire AoE. Uh, just a perpetual fire aura, which is actually rather amazing. There are enemies in uh, your dungeon. That is generally fine. Most of our traps have been rebuilt. In fact, we're even building this. We've got the Poison Breath Trap and a Flamer right on the other end. We're going to see how that one plays out. Uh, might even do the same down here, just in... Uh, I can't afford it. Okay, it's very expensive. But we'll we'll definitely take uh, check out what that does in a little bit. Uh, we need some more drink. And we need more food. Most vexing. Okay. Well, I suppose... Well, you know what? We don't need this. Let's get rid of it. Uh, oops. There we go. Let's get rid of it. And then I could guess I could help out a bit. Let's just grab a little bit there. Drop it off. That should help out a wee tiny bit. Uh, this is going to be amazing. I want to make sure I'm watching that. Now, what have we got? We've got critical hit. Well, you know what? Uh-oh, we can have it. There we are. I can only imagine the amount of damage an ogre is going to do with a crit. Right, go for the novice please, first, please. Uh, thankfully, the novice and the priestess are both in the same sort of location, so AoE hits are going to do damage to both. There we go. Thank you very much. That was remarkably easy. There we are. Oh, they're still fighting. I'm, 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 there I am, but like, yeah, it fights over. Like, ah, not, not really. Not, not yet. Anyway, I mean, these things do have a lot of health now. Let's have a watch. Now, I've put it in this direction, so that these Enemies have are all poisoned, the and in a moment, boom! That should have done 500 damage straight away. Does that need to be rebuilt every single time? Oh, that is an actually so good. I'll be honest, I'm not as impressed. Hmm, that is a bit of a potch, in fact. On the plus side, though, the Priestess should be dead shortly. Thrasher, thrash. There we go. Still, that wasn't as great as I'd hoped. Mm, not super impressed with that one. Uh, I th well, let's use this again. There we go. Let's just help him out a little bit. Right, let's go and have a look. What's going on? Are those all corpses? Yes, they are. They're going to remain there until the last part of their group is dead. Uh, now, which way do we want to approach this? Dangerous vines sprang from the ground uh, in a flash in this way. and reached for the creatures. The researching Fine. evil's army had found another entrance to the underground. Hooray! It was very that likely up, please. that one of the rune stones could be found there. But where will the third one be? Probably going to have to kill some sort of hero unit for that one. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, right, we definitely need more of you. Uh, so let's expand that out uh, at least as far as this, sure. Then we'll add in, like, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll pop a door down there. So all there of this will be turned in your dungeon. into more Gobbler Farms. I think that should help with the food crisis. Wow, how did you get over there? Well, that's just... Frustrating. Hmm. I may need to deal with that shortly. But yeah, these flamers are amazing. Priestess probably won't survive. Spin that up. There we go. Now, did you deal with anything? Or have you made your way all the way through? Um, how about you guys just come over there? There we go. That should deal with the Master Ranger, honestly. There we go. Now, that being said... That will take a fair bit of damage. Let's have a watch. Ooh, yeah, let's let's not leave you there. Have we got any particularly strong units around? I wonder. No, actually, you might not be a bad one. You can do a fair old bit of damage. We should have some zombies as well. There we, go. there we are. Perfect. Right, that should be able to handle it all. 
Uh, replacing the traps down here, or rather dragging all the corpses off. Eh, not great, honestly, but I guess it'll have to do. All right, let's go and find out what that is over here. More slimes. Uh, so I guess we just need to dig our way down here then. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. We'll Root have that have been dug up then? in the underground. Oh dear. Are you going back? Where are you going? Oh, you realize that? Oh no! Why? Why would that happen? That is so rude. So rude. Um, okay, well, I kind of need everyone to just get involved there then. And I'll give you demon strength. Because that really did not pan out the way I was hoping. Frankly. Super, super bad timing, in fact. Like, mega bad timing. We're going to need to get in there and wipe out the rootlings as well. It's payday. Alright, is everything dealt with? Mostly. Sorry, I know you, it's payday, but I would... We like it if you just take care of that for me. Please and thank you. Just because we're evil doesn't mean we don't need to be polite. The bustling evil had dug up one of the rune stones in the underground. I had? Where? Oh! Right, okay, well that's fine. Yoink! Look, is it really all that really? difficult to just drop that damn- The rock collection evil had placed the second rune stone. Just one more stone needed to be found in order to open the portal. I'm fairly certain when it is. Problem? If that thing is anywhere here in the underground, we should find it while digging, I hope. Go on, dig up everything that doesn't get out of the way. The determined evil had found and placed the second rune stone. Excellent work as always. Well, almost always. Usually. Oi. Often. Shush. Well, at least occasionally. The dick so happy rude. evil's little snots had discovered another rune stone. Okay, someone is on. Oh, Look, really? Is it really all that difficult Shush. to just drop that damn rune stone in the... The last rune stone had been put in place. Shameful creature. There is no room in my forest for you. You pollute the rune stones with your perversion. N the forest queen wasn't what? particularly happy that the perverted evil had put the rune stones in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cares what that old bag has to say. Root. We collected those ridiculous little rocks, and now we're gonna kick her ass. <laughs> That's what's happening. Not so fast. Uh -oh. Whenever you say, not so fast, or something like that, I know that it unfortunately isn't going to be as easy as I think. Right? You're definitely not wrong about that. Oh, of course not. Okay, so what do we have to do now? Collect 300 bat things, no. 100 googly eyes. I wouldn't I mind 100 googly eyes, experience. to be fair. I know how these things work. Just be patient a little longer. That's a topic for another time. First, let us just savor the victory. Hurrah! There we go. Ah, all right then. That took us a while. Two hours and 13 minutes to be exact, though no doubt I am going to condense that down either into one or two episodes. Uh, if it's two episodes, it'll probably just be the whole thing, just split, but probably condensed. Ah, I wasn't so bad as far as things go. We did have a little bit of trouble with the Dungeon Heart at one point, thanks to those bloody dragons. Trusted to be dragons, though, that pose the greatest threat to the dra dungeon heart. I mean, you know, there's there's, uh, there's heroes and then there's dragons. Dragons and heroes. So why the dragons are on the side of the heroes, I will never know. Maybe they're just neutral. The dragons are on nobody's side because nobody is on the dragon side. I can relate. Well, there we go. And we have unlocked the next point. Capture creatures alone. alone. Oh, so creatures forest. alone in the forest. Talia and the deforesting evil's army had penetrated <gasps> deep into Dabblings. the forests. But the road to the Forest Queen was still long. How long? 
I don't know. Perhaps we will find out. Do let me know down in the comments if you have enjoyed this glimpse into the unexpected or rather un unexpected and unexpected DLC. And uh, we might be seeing more of this on the channel. And uh, if you are interested in the other DLCs as well, then I can certainly make that happen as well. But do let me know down below. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.